Joe, how you doing? Good, how are you, sir? Yeah, my name is Cardell, and I got a, a pretty interesting uh, case here. You know, it's a coffin, you know, a guitar case. You want? You pretty, might be interested in it. Pretty sketchy looking case. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Do you want to sell it or pawn it? I'd like to sell it. Okay. Um, let me slide this down. Here. Pickups. Made in Indonesia. All right, what are you trying to get out of it, man? Oh, seven, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that on there, on this. But uh, what were you saying about the, the case here? Yeah, but you know, it's not the guitar. It's, the guitar is not that much. You know, it's a, it's a case that I'm interested in really selling because it's a coffin. You, know, as you can see, it's unique. It's, Coffin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've never bought a uh, never bought a coffin before. Yeah, I guess it's custom made, you know what I'm saying? Because let I've me, never seen one before like right, this. Right. You know what I'm let saying? Let me. Uh, there's no markings on this, huh? No. This kind of got a free wheel. Well, you got it's only markings. Coffin case yeah, right that's here. It. So you wanted 800? Yeah. I can't do that. Um. Given you got the cool case, I'll do uh, I'll do 200 on everything. That's the best I'm gonna be able to do. I can't be throwing out. Can you do 275? Do two and a quarter. 250, we got a deal. 250 is possible. Grab some paperwork here and you'll be all set. Everybody, you're all set. Four and okay. Half Thank you. Finally, I sold my uh, coffin to West Ridge Pond. Thanks, buddy. I sold my coffin at. Bedford Farm, then I sold my coffin at Bedford Farm. I sold my coffin at Bedford Farm. Ladies, how are you today? Good. We were looking to sell right. them. Okay, got an iPad here. Okay. Looks like an iPad 2. Yep. And it is 16 gigabytes. Okay. The screen's in good shape. Everything looks good. How much are you looking to get for it? Oh, 250. Oh, 250, huh? Yeah, um, at two fifty, I'm you're at full retail, so I can't make a dime on it. So I'm thinking a hundred bucks. One twenty-five. Hundred and a quarter. Okay, I looked it up, and hundred and a quarter sounds fair to me. Okay. Okay. Now uh, just got to do some paperwork, and uh, we'll write you up, and you'll be all set. We'll send you on your way. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hey, George. Come on, man. How you doing? Good, how you been? Like wall guns? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I think I got a new one, actually. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a spider. I'm only asking $4.99 for it. Nice. Oh, I'll yeah. give it to you a great, great deal for the bottles. George. Yeah. Who are you shooting with? Huh? Who are you shooting We're going to have target practice out in the woods. i got four and a half acres. Beautiful. I get all my boys together and play. From Van Scooter uh, Remodeling, right? You got it. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. You got it, brother. Take care. Right. Have a good one. Yep, you too. My name is Charles. I'm here trying to get a couple dollars for my Frigidaire AC. I'm here trying to make a couple dollars for my AC. I paid 124 Trying to get a deal. Yes, we do. We do know it's the end of August, right? Yeah, yeah kind of. Kind of selling that. it to me at a bad time of the year. Because okay. pretty soon it's going to be cold. So I'm basically going to get stuck with this thing until the next heat wave, which is probably going to be next summer. Okay. You know, no one Rochester weather. Um, now you're one of my regulars. I don't know. I could do 25 bucks for you if you want to do it. It's up to you. I gotta be able to make some money, and I'm gonna get stuck with it till at least the spring at minimum. Yes. Definitely. 
Uh, I really can't go for that, but I need the money for gas, so that's the deal. Okay, buddy. Thank you so much. So two weeks have gone by, Jimmy. What are we doing here? Uh, she finally uh, decided to bring her ladder racks back. She's going to sell them now. So what happened with Craigslist? You got like a lot of guys right to you on there? No, I think the ex-boyfriend erased it off Craigslist. Uh-oh. Well, you got to change those passwords, I think. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, great. Okay. So it seems like you spend a lot of time with Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened with the haircut? Anything? Or the trim? I think he got trimmed up before I even came back for it. <laughs> okay. Well, he's looking slim and trim today. Hi, my name is Ashley, and I'm coming to West Ridge Traders because my son doesn't use his horn anymore. He doesn't want to let it go. Right. Uh, well, at least you're pawning it and you're not selling it, right? right, right. Um, can I get a hundred pounds? It's a nice shape. Good instrument. But a hundred's a little bit more than I'm willing to lay out for a pawn because you realize I have to hold on to it for four months. Okay. Um, I'd be willing to go seventy five dollars for you. Okay, Is that okay? Yes. Alrighty then. Let me get you some paperwork and send you on your way. So we just need you to put your signature there. Japanese version. Oh yeah. Uh, there aren't too many of these around. This was pressed on virgin vinyl. It's, uh, it's hard to find. Yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, I just bought uh, the Butcher album last week. Oh, did you? That was a nice piece, yeah. This has got all the uh, literature in it and pictures. Yeah, these aren't worth a ton of money. What were you looking for out of it? I'm looking for about $100. Yeah. I'd like to be somewhere closer to $20. $20? Yeah, this is as rare as, you know, it, there's not a ton, but it's pretty much available. Do you do like 40? I'll tell you what, I'll do 30 bucks. I'll write you up and we'll call it a day. 30 bucks sounds good. You got it. Just give me your ID and uh, we'll get you written up. There you are. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, I'm happy. I, I paid a dollar for that album in a garage sale and I made 30 bucks. Yeah, we get salesmen here all the time trying to sell us this, trying to sell us that. Very few of the monies that we put out for advertising like this does us any good. So he's going to have to really try to push his salesmanship on me. Hey, Tony, how are you? Good, good to you see you. Good to see you. Hey, I saw you on, uh, on television the other night on your TV show. Yeah, what do you think of it? It's great. I, that's why I'm here. I'm, I saw your stuff on there, and I'm an advertiser, and I, I own a magazine called Parents and Kids Magazine that's distributed all the Wegman supermarkets. and. I know you guys are not an easy sale, so I came in to try to sell you what we do, and I think it, this could work, really work for you. All right? Let's see what you got well, to say. It, this is where all, uh, it's distributed through all, all the Wegman supermarkets. It's called Parents and Kids Magazine. Uh, moms, typically from ages 18 to 49, are picking up our magazine. On top of, not only on top of uh, Wegmans, we have all the public libraries. We have all of the uh, YMCAs. We have... Um, other 250 other locations, vendor locations that distribute our magazine. So you're getting in front of a lot of eyes, like the television show that you guys have. Mm -hmm. So this will be a great, uh, I think, great opportunity for you to get into families. Uh, you have a lot of things in your stores. I see you have uh, DVDs and you have uh, bikes in here and you have helmets and television sets. I think it's family oriented and I think it could really benefit your business to help you grow a little bit in the marketplace. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a half a page of this ad and we're gonna advertise our TV show in here. See, we'll see what kind of action we get out of it. All right, great. Thank you very much. I know you're gonna enjoy your Parents and Kids magazine. Okay, Parents Orlando, thank you. Hi, my name is Kaylee and I'm coming into West Ridge Traders to see what I can get for my old clock. 
Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Tony, how are you today? Good. I have this um, antique clock I wanted to bring in. Okay. Let's take a look at it's it. It's been in the family for a while. You got a Seth Thomas clock. Very good clock manufacturer. Let's take a look in the back and see what she looks like. You got the key with it, it's a plus. You got the original Seth Thomas logo in the back. Got nice, very nice inlay work. Um, what are you trying to get for it? Uh, I was thinking like 500. 500? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mark's leaving. <laughs> online and see if I can get a gauge on what the retail value of this piece is. Okay. Well, 500, a little bit steep for me to pay for this clock. Okay. Probably looking at the condition, the age, everything looks in pretty good condition. I'm thinking I can give you a couple hundred for it. Okay. 200 is good? That's good. Okay, very good. We'll write it up for you. All right, thank you. All right, sign the back of the check. Okay, very good. Go get your money. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. are going to buy this ring and this sword from me. Or what, yes. you're going to take my head off? I might just do that. <laughs> you're going to behead me just like the, the old you days? just like the old days. Oh boy. <laughs> Tony, you are going to buy this sword off of me. It may be the only sword you'll ever buy. <laughs> boy, you're right by my juggler. Holy cow. I better be careful. Oh, oh you can't take more hair off. It's already gone. <laughs> Scalp's still there though. Oh, you can buy this. It's beautiful, Tony. Look, from the old days on the horses. Uh, okay, I've looked both these swords up. Um, these are more or less ornamental, decorational, whatever way you want to put it. Um, made in Pakistan. We got some rust over here. A couple of dings on the sides of the blade, and this one here is rusted up pretty good. The best part of the handle, probably. The uh, best part of the sword is the handle itself, but it's the actual blade itself is in pretty rough condition. It's quite heavy though for what it is. It's very heavy actually, yes. Oh like I said, I believe these are ornamental swords, um, it, but I, I do I, sell some, but when they're in rough condition like this, I'm going to probably Yes, but I, but I think you should buy these. Yeah. I mean, after all, that's what you do, you buy and sell, and I think you do a great job. Well, I so, try. If you, if you can ask... Anybody, these swords can be bought by anybody who plays the games mm -hmm. and who runs anything in weapon repair. You will see that they will. Okay, well, I'll leave. I, I'll tell you what. If you leave me your number, I'm sure there might be somebody that comes through looking for something similar to this. Okay. And if they do, I'll um, actually give you a call. And then uh, we'll figure out a price and I'll ask the customer and see what they have to say. Thanks, Tony. Uh, that would be wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Come on, Tony. Get someone to buy these swords off of me. Metal, beautiful. I'm Wendy. And what do you do here? I'm the eBay seller. So what do we got here? Oh, we got the Beatles, uh, 1960 to 1970. It's a uh, second album. Greatest hits, uh, made in 1973. I'm selling it on eBay today. There you go. Hi, I'm Paul from Holly Assembly a church out in Holly, and we are missing our cymbals for our drum set. I heard the guys here at Westridge were really fair. I thought I'd stop in and see if they could help me out. Hi. Hi. I'm Paul, pastor out at Holly Assembly. We're Hi, miss Pastor. We're missing, uh, my cymbals for my drum set came up missing. Okay. I don't want to say they're stolen, but I don't have cymbals to complete our drum set. I was wondering if you got anything that you could help you, us out. I heard something. Do you have a band coming up soon? I do have an event in a couple weeks here. What's we, the date? Uh, do you remember? Yeah, it's uh, 
two weeks from yesterday, so the 20, 23rd, 22nd, 23rd on Sunday. I'd really like to get this drum set completed. We got a really good drummer that week, and I'd like to have everything there for him. Fantastic. You know what? I can help you out. I've got a 20 inch right behind you, a Zildjian, You're right on the me. shelf that I can help you out with. You've got a Zildjian right behind you. Okay. Oh, wow. That's perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, it's in nice shape too. Yeah, it's nice. There's no cracks in it or anything. Oh, it's in nice shape. Um, the hole's not worn out, and uh, I can give you a real nice deal on it, Pastor. I'll take care of you for the church, and uh, let's get this band up and running. Okay, super. What are we looking at? Uh, you know what? Throw me 50 bucks, and we'll call it a deal. You're killing me. You can't do that. <laughs> yep. It's, it's uh, from deal. me to the church. That's a deal. All right, great. At Westridge, they've got style and they've got heart. They really gave us a great deal. Hi, my name's Alex. I'm here at Westwood Traders to uh, see what I can get for my LP propane gas heater. Hi, hey, Alex. How are you today? Not too bad. I'm here trying to see what I can get for my LP propane gas heater. Okay. Um, you're looking to sell it outright? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. You got a number in mind? I was thinking uh, 70, 80. 70, 80 is going to be a little bit much for me. I might be able to sell it for 70, 80 dollars. Um, I'm thinking more like 25 bucks. Um, is there any way we can go with 30? 30 dollars? Yeah, I'll agree to that. All right, sounds like a deal to me. Okay, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Alex, we're going to get some paperwork together and uh, we'll get you right out of here. All right, sounds good. All right, fine. Thank you. Hello, sir. I just came in today with my uh, Singer 150 today and uh, wondering what you might be able to give me for it there. Did you want to sell it or pawn it? Uh, I'd like to sell it. I mean, I can only sell this jacket up so many times with this thing. <laughs> I can understand that. Looks like a nice machine. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go uh, 30 bucks. 30? Yeah, I, that sounds good because like... Really? Yeah, my nice. hand sewing's a little better in this thing, I think. I never got the hang of this in cooking class. Right. Sure, that'd be a good deal. All right, great. I'll get you some, uh, I just gotta get your ID and write it up and we'll get your money and get you out the door. Certainly. Thank you. I just need you to sign here and uh, I got your dough and we'll get you out of here. Yes, sir. So I'll sign here. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Westridge Palm. They'll take care of you down here with a little money for the things you got. They'll take care of you. Hi, I'm Lynette, and I'm bringing in my Joan Namath college jersey from Alabama State. And I hope these guys are going to be generous with me. What can I do for you today? Well, I have my Joe Namath college jersey um, that I'd like to sell. Okay. I've had it for quite a few years. Really? Okay. Number 12, Alabama, Crimson Tide. Okay, so you're looking to get a price on selling it? Yeah. Okay. You know this is a newer jersey, right? This has nothing to do with his old days besides it's actually a replica of his old jersey when he was in Alabama. No, I was told when I bought it that it was the real deal. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's got all original newer tags on it, so whoever... Well, the guy told me he put those tags on when, when he purchased it. He did, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I think the guy was fibbing with you, so... Here nor there, I would make you an offer on it anyways, but it's definitely not from when he was playing. It's a copy of his old jersey. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. Somebody, if they put the tags on it, I doubt it they did. I think these are the original tags that actually came with the shirt. Full retail's 100 bucks. I'm at like 20 bucks if you wanna sell it. 20 bucks? $20. I yeah. paid way more than that. Well, you might want to put it on Craigslist then, because that's about where I'm at. i got to find a buyer, and it's obviously not in the original packaging. It's in good shape and everything, but I have a lot of jerseys, and that's where I'm at, 20 bucks. All right, well, I can't do 20. Okay, so, no problem. Thanks, anyway. Thank you so much. I can't believe 
believe it. This guy's a legend. What am I going to do with $20? I paid way more than that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not nah. This place is a rip-off.